Okay, right. I think we're good now. Um, so thank you very much for everyone for joining us today. Uh, this is a number of sessions that are hosted by educationagents.org with regards to international education. We're lucky enough to have the admissions team from Marianapolis today who are a lead in preparatory and boarding school in the United States. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll hand over to the team now for them to start their presentation and if anyone has any queries or questions at the end then they're more than happy to ask them. Hello everybody um, and, and welcome and thank you very much for um, watching a little bit more about Marianapolis Preparatory School. Um, my name is Karen Carter. I'm the Associate Director of International Admission here at Marianapolis and joining me today to speak with you about our, our school is Monica Vitali, who is our International Student Advisor. She also serves as a house parent here at Marianapolis. She was a former um, English language or ESL teacher here. And um, like a number of boarding school faculty, we've worn a lot of hats here at Marianapolis and can answer a lot of questions and speak to a lot of um, student life options um, and uh, programming here at Marianapolis. But we're very excited to introduce the uh, school to you. However, before we start talking, one of the things that we thought we would do is let the students speak with you um, in their own words about why they chose Marianapolis. So we have a little bit <coughs> for you. I chose Marianapolis because I like the atmosphere and the teachers are very caring. I chose Marianapolis because of its family and great teachers. I came to Marianapolis for the great athletic and academic program. I chose Marianapolis because I wanted to be surrounded by like my I chose Marianapolis because I wanted a new environment. I chose Marianapolis because I love the community. I chose Marianapolis because I wanted to go to a school that challenged me both on the court and in the classroom. I came to Marianapolis because I like the way we learn and I want to go to a great college. I chose Marianapolis because I saw what opportunities the school presented both my brother and sister who graduated from here. And I knew that I wanted to have the same experience and also be a part of the community that Marianapolis has to offer. I chose Marianapolis because of the close-knit community and the family it provides me. Why will you choose Marianapolis? Why will you choose Marianapolis? Why will you choose Marianapolis? Just some facts about our school before we begin. Marianapolis is a co-ed Catholic boarding and day school located in Thompson, Connecticut. So we're right in the heart of New England, in southern New England. We're about one hour from Boston, about one hour from Providence, Rhode Island, and about three hours from New York City. When our international students fly into um, the United States, typically they fly into Logan International Airport and we offer some pickup service for them there. The enrollment of, in Marianapolis is about 400 students. It's a very small and intimate community, grades 9 through 12, and a postgraduate program. We're about 50% female and 50% male. About 60% of our students are day students from the surrounding three states and about 40% of our um, students are boarding students from, about, from um, the United States and also about 24 other countries. So we're a fairly diverse community, but we're always um, looking for partners like yourselves to continue to increase our diversity. We are intentionally a global community. It's very much a part of our mission to educate our students um, with the perspective that we are um, global citizens and that we also work very closely internationally um, in corporations and businesses. So we want to prepare them for 21st century jobs and for also jobs that don't even exist um, currently. 
The education is, is rigorous. Um, we offer 19 um, AP courses, um, honors level courses. There are over 100 elective courses, so a student doing the arts can find um, plenty of courses that they enjoy. Students who love science can find plenty of courses that they enjoy, neuroscience, um, the science of infectious diseases on top of the core studies. Um, so the, the education is top notch. We have a 100% college acceptance rate. And we'll be showing you a, a, little, a few schools that um, our students have been accepted to. It's a, a very very intimate class environment. Our average class size is 12. So the faculty really know the kids very, very well. Um, when I was teaching here, I knew the kids' handwritings. Um, they didn't even need to put their, um, their names on their papers. I knew their voices. I was an English teacher at the time and I even knew their voices, you know, in the, in the paragraphs that they would write to me. And this average this stu student teacher ratio is about seven to one. So we know them extremely well in all different ways because here at Marianapolis, you're not just their teacher, you're their advisor, you're their coach, you're their dorm parent, you go on their, you know, their, you're the chaperone on the weekend activities and on the other trips that we take them. So we know them very holistically. Um, so speaking of other things um, that we offer here at Marianapolis, we have 40 different athletic teams that we'll speak to you about um, at every different level. Clubs and activities are really abound here at Marianapolis. The kids are very, very involved. We also offer quite a number of online courses in the summer and we are looking to integrate them into our classroom um, during the school year as well. And then we're going to speak a lot about what we call the icing on that cupcake. You know, our signature programs are, are you know, that go beyond our ninth grade experience with the humanities and casual seminars, but really talk to you about our si Center for Excellence, which is an amazing um, opportunity for our kids that really differentiate them in that college um, application process, our experiential learning programs, and also our leap week programs. How do we get those kids outside of the classroom to integrate learning that takes place in the classroom with real life situations and open their eyes to those types of situations? Uh, we are proud to have representation from 25 nations around the globe here at Marianapolis. Each of our international students is important to us and we seek to learn more about their culture while they learn about ours. We really celebrate diversity here, ensuring that special events and holidays are recognized formally. So for example, we've had a presentation about Kazakhstan's Independence Day. We learn traditional Korean dances on Chusuk. Uh, we had a lively discussion about Zimbabwe's political future and we enjoyed some mooncakes on the Mid-Autumn Harvest Festival. We are also delighted with the many excellent colleges and universities that our students are matriculating into yearly. Uh, you see a list of some of them here. Um, I realize we are in early March and so we are expecting this list to grow. Um, with this year's class, I know we've got some impressive um, colleges that our students have been applying to. Uh, while we have some well-known names here, we are equally proud of the smaller liberal arts or arts intensive schools that our students choose for the next step of their adventure. We have a dedicated college placement team who works to find the best fit for each student, whether that means a massive urban school with a world-renowned medical program or a small rural school with a blossoming theatre program. We are lucky to be located on a beautiful and safe 150-acre campus in the northeast corner of Connecticut. As Karen mentioned, uh, we are one hour from Boston and Hartford and about half an hour from Providence, Rhode Island and Worcester, Massachusetts. This location allows us the safety and peace of a rural neighborhood while also having ready access to all the opportunities that metropolitan areas have to offer. Since our founding in 1926, Marianapolis's mission has been to educate students in the Catholic tradition of academic excellence with the dedication of building character with content, compassion, and integrity. It's a real values-based education. Marianapolis is a welcoming and inclusive environment and the school really fosters um, respect and unconditional love for all. We celebrate our diversity and we have an active exploration of our faith 
including um, offering many, many avenues for community service. We're one of the most welcoming communities that you will ever meet and we really encourage you if you have a chance to come to the states to come to our campus and to feel how happy our kids are here how accepted they are how they can really be themselves and to open up and to be being who they possibly can be and to, and to feel that environment because really um, it is very very special two words that the kids often use to describe um, what happens here at Marianopolis is, is family and community and we're very very proud when many of them call it their home away from home. Another thing that I wanted to speak to you about is um, the philosophy that underpins all the academic work that we do here um, and that is um, that learning is not just about preparing for college but also preparing for life and that in the life that goes well beyond school. Um, we've often heard about the growth mindset. It's something that has been talked a lot about in studies and one of the things that we employ for our young young people is called the habits of mind and the habits of mind um, focus on six different behaviors that help students prepare and succeed in the classroom but not just in the classroom but far beyond that classroom and you can see them listed here it's preparation how well they, they are ready to go into that classroom situation, how well do they participate in, that, in the classroom, the intellectual curiosity about what they are learning, um, how organized they are about their learning environment, their self-advocacy, which is a huge part of how they succeed. Are they, do they feel comfortable coming to their teachers or to peer tutors that, that we have here to help them um, grow and succeed and get the help that they need, and also their perseverance. And, Several of you probably have heard about that the term grit. You know, a lot of um, studies have been done that it's really key to a person's future, how determined they are, how they never give up, and uh, perseverance is one of those key um, habits that students need to succeed. Students and teachers have an opportunity several times a year to reflect on how students are mastering this repertoire of behaviors and to also strategize on how they how a student can improve um, in each of these in each of these areas. And studies have shown here at Marianapolis that kids who take these um, behaviors very seriously really are succeeding in the classroom. There you could see it in their grade point average, you could see it in their effort. Uh, we realize that some students may be coming to us with the goal of developing their English language fluency. We have a very strong English language program that can support students who are coming in early on their journey towards language acquisition, or those that are almost perfect, just looking to hone their writing and communicative skills to set them up for success in college. You can see here a list of some of our classes ranging from English 1 to English 3 for our English language support program. We also have a composition and analysis class and then classes that take a look at historical context, spe specifically through the lens of the international student. Uh, as I introduced myself earlier, and it's a little bit awkward to talk while looking at a picture of myself, um, I am the international student advisor here at Marianapolis, and my role is to work closely with all of our international students to ensure that they transition smoothly to school here and that they make the most of all the opportunities offered to them. We have a cultural connection program called the Marianapolis Family Network, which pairs our international students with a day student who shares some common interests um, and, uh, uh, sorry, who shares some common interests. This partnership, which may involve going out to dinner with the day student's family after a soccer win or spending a weekend at the day student's home, allows for more personal engagement with a local American family. We also have a student leadership group, a group called SLAM, which is designed solely for international students. This group helps lead small group sessions at the start of the year on adjusting to life in America. Throughout the course of the year, this group also helps coordinate and facilitate all of our cultural celebration programs, several of which I spoke about earlier in this webinar. Um, the SLAM leadership position is a great opportunity for international students to hone their leadership skills while also celebrating their backgrounds and learning more about the culture of their peers. 
We're going to transition right now into talking about um, what we call our signature programs. Most boarding schools have highly rigorous academic programs and Mary Annapolis, of course, does as well. We spoke about those um, AP courses, the honors level courses, the 100 um, elective courses that, that are offered where students really can find a, a niche and a real place where they can learn. But we're going to take a look specifically at um, some of the signature programs and extracurricular programs which really distinguish us um, from the rest of the boarding school pack, so to speak. Um, and uh, we really feel like this, some of these programs really make our kids a little bit more creative and distinguish them, as I said before, in the college application progress, um, college application um, process. And the first one I'd like to talk about is our Centers of Excellence. And this is a certificate program um, that uh, allows a student to really focus on you know, their academic experience in one of three different um, areas. You can see them on your screen, business and entrepreneurship, civic engagement and service, and innovation and technology. Um, the Centers of Excellence, beginning in the 10th grade, allows a student to start taking classes in these particular areas um, and apply learning methods that were learned in the ninth grade year. Um, I may have mentioned the uh, Cashmere Seminar, which uh, allows the kids to uh, learn um, a variety of different learning methods. It gets all the ninth graders um, solidly on, on the same footing, no matter where they've come from um, in any school system throughout the world or in the United States. It, from the 10th grade year and it's starting to explore whether it's intro to law, whether it's um, intro to economics, uh, another um, innovation course um, in our innovation, uh, our soon to come innovation lab, they start to um, get ready for their internship their junior year and they will do a two week internship during spring break. Um, during their junior year where they're placed in a company, corporation, or nonprofit at that particular time. Then in their senior year, they complete a capstone project, um, which again, pulls together uh, what they have learned both in the, in the specific coursework relative to the concentration area in the, in the centers of excellence, and also through their internship and they present that project to a jury. So students who are in the centers of excellence, and this is something that they elect to do, it is not required of all of our students, but these students earn a special certificate on top of their diplomas. So we really reward them for this um, job well done and the extra work that they um, put into this, these areas of concentration that they have chosen um, to go into. So it's like taking on a minor, you know, when you're in college. So it's a lot like uh, the work that you would do um, in that type of collegiate program. <laughs> Uh, we also know that learning extends well beyond the classroom walls. Uh, in addition, the interests and passions of our students vary from art to athletics to astronomy and everything in between. Leap Week, which stands for Live, Experience, Advance, Prepare, is a week-long adventure that takes place in March in which our students can deepen an interest they already have or try something totally new. This year, we offer over 30 different trips, including canyoneering in national parks, attending space camp, a dancing intensive program, costume design, or learning from an executive chef. If you have a chance to check out the full catalog of options on the Marianapolis website, it's incredible to see the wide range of choices that our students have each year. And our experiential learning trips are like mini LEAP adventures, where students can take trips to explore and enjoy all of the many activities our beautiful part of New England has to offer. When the weather is still warm, students can take surf lessons on an Atlantic beach. In the winter, students can go snowshoeing in a sculpture garden. Young artists can try their hand at glass blowing or metal smithing and foodies can make homemade chocolate truffles just in time for Valentine's Day. Again, the full range of these opportunities can be found on our website for you to explore. And there's nothing like, what do you call it, there's nothing like seeing a kid's face light up when they all of a sudden realize on an EL trip, wow, 
cooking is related to chemistry, Mrs. Carter, isn't it? You know, and, and they realize, wow, the chocolate that they're working with really has something to do with something that they have learned inside of the classroom. And that's really, you know, what we aim to do in, in some of these programs is really to open their minds to, that, to the fact that, you know, what they're learning in the classroom is, is real life it has applications to real life and they also opens them up to possible newer career choices like food being a food scientist or an organic chemist or things that they really you know haven't haven't explored yet or may not have, not have even heard of um, in their young lives and so it's a really cool program it, it looks like fun but they really are learning a whole lot more um, than just uh, wow this is a beluga whale um, maybe I, I want to uh, you know, work as a scientist that studies diseases that um, affect beluga whales. Um, who knows? Um, that's the thing. The possibilities are limitless with some of these programs. Um, fine arts. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the co-curricular um, options that our kids have. And our, uh, again, our kids come from a, a wide variety of different places and they're very diverse in what they're interested in. Some of them are scholar athletes. Some of them are artists. And we try to offer as much as we possibly can to feed all of their different interests. And you can see for our, our fine and performing artists, a sample of courses that we offer. And this is, again, a very small sample of what we offer. Um, for our kids. Uh, kids get to really um, study what they want to study here um, and what they can study. A lot, of, a lot of the kids from around the world really are so happy that they can come back to performing um, in a small, a small group ensemble, coming back to taking piano, possibly studying guitar for the first time or violin for the first time, or being a part um, or learning some new artistic techniques that maybe they couldn't have learned or dropped in middle school because of, um, sorry. It's okay. Um, because of uh, the, you know, the heavy testing schedule that they have in their middle schools, you know, back at home and uh, exploring this creative side of themselves on top of taking courses. And a lot of these course ensemble courses that you see here, the chorus, the jazz band, the rock band, they take place at night, just like they would in a, in a university environment in the United States. They also get to, um, Put, uh, apply, you know, apply the techniques that they're learning inside the classroom by being part of um, the yearbook club and learning. Um, so the graphic design that they're learning in the classroom is applied both um, in, you know, by doing creative writing and also by um, designing our yearbook and also our beautiful fine arts magazine Calliope, which um, you could see on our website under our publications page. We offer a number of competitive and non-competitive sports. And, and one of the greatest things about boarding school is while we have um, elite teams, our, we have varsity sports, um, you know, that where we send kids to college playing anywhere from D3 to D, at D1 level um, athletes. But we offer 16 different teams and we can also accommodate students who've never played a sport before and who are just interested in being a part of that. Um, another thing that competitive sports offers is friendships. You know, kids who played, you know, soccer just on their playgrounds can come in and have the same type of interscholastic competitive experience as that elite varsity athlete, you know, who has been in a club soccer team back at home for years and years. Um, it cre sports also creates balance for kids, a mind-body balance, and, it, it, and, and of course there's that health aspect. So we can see that we have a wide variety of sports and we're always adding to our sports list. Um, most recently our, our swimming team, which is nice, and we have something in the works for next year as well. We also offer non-competitive options that, that broadens uh, what we can offer students. So whether it's um, for the dancer, we have dance classes here at Marianapolis, but we also have dances, extracurricular options in the afternoons for two of the three sports seasons. We offer drama productions for all three sports seasons. So we do three drama productions in our black box theater a year. But we also offer extracurriculars for kids who maybe aren't so sporty or aren't looking for dance or drama. Math team. We have one of the best math teams in New England. England and we have the trophies to prove it. Um, it's a great option for kids who really want to do something academic, you know, but want to really participate and have that passion for it that they're willing to, you know, put two hours a day just like the athletes, you know, and exercise their brains in that particular way. For techie kids, we have the media team, uh, for the 
we have the tech crew, you know, that does a lot of IT work and gets a real pre-professional experience. Everything from, um, you know, working on the computers, doing hardware and software installations, imaging computers, to building computers. Um, the media team, if you're on our website, you will often see photo credits and writing credits for the kids who work with our professional communication staff. Um, not only just working with uh, our website, but also with our Twitter feeds, with our uh, Instagram um, accounts, our Facebook accounts, and also with uh, photo and writing contributions in our Marianopolis magazine that comes out three times a year. So we offer the kids a lot of really cool experiences that are not, not athletic and um, are non-competitive options as well. Leadership is a huge and important part of preparation for life um, and not just for college um, as well. And you could see a long list of leadership opportunities that um, we offer here on the left hand side of your screen in the maroon box. And, and this starts practically as soon as um, kids come to campus. So our freshmen have the ability to host prospective students for the day as ad admission ambassadors. So they step up to the plate to show um, students the great Marianapolis experience that they themselves had as prospective student just a couple of months beforehand. Um, some will partner with faculty and plan weekend activities as part of the Campus Activities Board. Ma um, Monica mentioned our SLAM leaders. We have uh, you know, top, you know, head students in the dorms, we call them our resident assistants. There's so much that, that the students can do to impact our community and really um, impact each other as well. You can see a huge list of clubs and organizations as well. Um, the kids really are actively involved. These clubs and organizations do not conflict with our afternoon activities. Most of the clubs and organizations meet in the first period in the morning so that kids can really be involved and contribute in this particular way and really be um, active in something that is their passion. We always say to our students, if there isn't a club that we have, you can start one. Again, have them, give them that leadership opportunity. And many of the clubs that you see here are student created clubs. The film club, the retro video game club, the robotics club, the knitting nights, the Chinese language and culture club, all of, and more. Most of these were started by kids. They know what they like. They know what other kids like. And not only are they, what do you call it? Not only do they start them, but they're long lived. I mean, the Chinese Language and Culture Club is 10 years old and is an integral part of, a, of really introducing Chinese culture that cannot be integrated within a Mandarin classroom. And also they, they really, they buddy up with these kids and they help them really um, learn not to be afraid of speaking Chinese and, and introducing, and these kids are, all of these kids are involved in planning our um, Chinese um, Lunar New Year Festival. So it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for these kids. And, and, they, and again, it, these, the clubs live on far long after the original founder has graduated. Our residential houses and halls uh, provide a warm and nurturing environment for our students to return to after a busy day at school. We have nine different houses and halls on campus, five for boys and four for girls. We group houses and halls loosely by age and by interest in the higher levels. For example, Villa St. Joseph is home to many of our artist girls and the common room is often found with an easel and some creative project underway. Each of these homes is staffed by four house or hall parents, which are full members of our Marianapolis uh, faculty, often also teachers, coaches, or administrators. We keep our students actively engaged in the pursuit of knowledge during the week. So weekends are for having fun, recharging, and connecting with their peers. Each weekend, we offer both on-campus and off-campus offerings, so students have ample choices over their time. On-campus activities may include having a professional artist come to lead a course on mask making or pumpkin carving, Dance lessons, karaoke competitions, and baking extravaganzas are also popular. Off-campus activities may include going on a ski trip, checking out the latest collection at one of Boston's art museums, or going snow tubing. 
These are all in addition to the experiential learning trips I mentioned earlier, which are offered every Sunday. We can say with confidence that our students can never say that they are bored on the weekends. While many students choose to relax their summers away, our motivated students can use their summers to take advancement or enrichment courses with Mac uh, Marianapolis faculty members from anywhere in the world. Our summer session online program allows Marianapolis students to keep working towards their academic goals without having to give up vacation time or be away from their families. Unique courses such as Mastering the College Essay or Business Management help place students on a path to succeed not only at Marianapolis, but in college and beyond. So if you have students who are interested in what we do at Marianapolis, the application process is pretty standard um, for any boarding school. We have our own online application, but we also use the SAO um, that you may be familiar with through um, the SSA, SSAT. B, um, so we will accept that. It, um, SSATB's um, application, the SAO, includes essays and questionnaires. Um, if you use our own online application, we have an essay that's part of it. We um, look for three recommendations, one from an English teacher, one from a math teacher, and one from a principal or guidance counselor. We typically like to look for uh, current year's transcripts, so grades to date, um, if they are applying um, during the normal uh, application process where um, January 15th is our typical deadline, and then we go rolling after that. We'll want up, up through the first semester's grades and then um, previous year's grades. If um, you have students who are still, who would still like to apply to Marianapolis for fall 2018, um, after the standard deadline, and like I said, we're going rolling any day now, um, we're sending out our first application, you know, our first uh, round of acceptances on Friday, uh, but if we'll need just grades to date in last year's grades. And then we look for a number of um, standardized testing options, uh, TOEFL, TOEFL Junior, ILITS, SSAT, and we try to work with you um, to uh, try to make that as flexible as possible. We do our own interviews, so we don't use organizations like Vericant, for example. Um, students can come to tour the school and we'll interview them on site. They can even come and shadow for the day if they have that um, flexibility. Or we typically, for our international students, we interview them by Skype. Um, and we assess their language abilities and get to know them. It's a really friendly chat, nothing that they need to be afraid of. We're very friendly people. We've been doing Skype, Skype interviews for a really long time and we want to bring out the very best in them so that we can get to know them as best and, inter and really make them feel comfortable so that, that we can, ex that we can um, you know, assess their English language um, abilities. With three levels of English language support for our international students, we can accept a wide um, level of students and we could talk about what those minimum scores may be. But uh, we, it's typically a wide range of uh, kids that we can accommodate here at Marianapolis um, as far as English language learning is concerned. We want to finish with um, showing you just a little bit, a little video that we are showing our accepted students. So you get a little preview of, um, again, a little, uh, just a little bit more of a taste of Marianapolis life and uh, who our kids are and uh, how talented they are. And, uh, and then we'll give you some contact information and, and the ability to answer some questions. Mark, can you get that up? Yeah. I had a dream so big and loud, I jumped so high, I tried to fly. Oh, 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 I stretched my hands out to the sky, we danced with monsters through the night. Oh, 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 o
So many students, you know, um, we're really lucky. Um, dream about coming and applying to a prep school in the United States and uh, going to school in the U.S. And we hope that some of those kids will make it Marianapolis. Um, if you have any questions, um, of course, we're going to we have some time uh, to take them right now. But this is some contact information. So if you have access to the webinar, you also have access to us uh, with uh, between our uh, admission e email phone number is right there. Um, you can check out our Twitter feed. We just had some wonderful um, athletic teams go into championship rounds um, over the weekend in basketball, so you can check those out. And um, our Instagram feed. Our kids are on Leap Week right now. If you have access to Instagram, you can follow the kids and see pictures of them um, daily on the, on the various trips that they're on. Um, we've seen them in Arizona, out in Utah, um, exploring slot canyons and on the Indian reservation grinding corn. Um, so you, so check, check it out and check out and see what our kids are doing right now during that five day week week. Also um, on maryannapolis.org slash um, materials, you have access to both of these videos, a, a video gallery, um, our view book and a number of different promotional materials for us. So, so uh, please feel free to peruse those uh, and take a look at uh, who we are and what we do. And, and again, if you think that you have a, a student that's the right fit for our community that really would like this type of education and, and explore themselves in this way, definitely get in contact with us, share those materials with the families. Um, we'd be very, very happy um, to have you as our partner abroad. So, um, Stephen, if there's um, any questions um, from, you know, the people who It's are my here. seventh year this year, and I take a group of students, about 20, 25 students. I'm in junior students. Mm -hmm. yes. Very good. Very good. And do you, you organize the travel, the whole thing? And on campus um, so if you do come um, at any time please feel free to contact us we'll give them a wonderful presentation have them do tours and get them to see the community and feel you know again meet those kids we have wonderful student tour guides that they can ask questions of we'd love to have you come to campus And the junior program, we can we organize these shorter stays. They can happen all year round. 